This is how to determine standard cell voltage in free energy. Determine delta G naught for the following reactions. Okay, the first reaction is the one we're given above here with perchlorate and chloride making two chlorates. And we're going to the appendix and looking up the following reactions. Okay, now hopefully you're looking at this and you're saying, hmm, I see the bottom reaction has something I might be interested in. And so does the top reaction, except it's on the wrong side. So the way to approach this is to say, okay, I am going to leave the bottom reaction written as it is. This will be my cathode and a reduction. However, the top reaction, I need to get this chlorate over to the other, chlorite rather, over to the other side. So this needs to be my anode and my oxidation. So essentially, I need to take this one and flip it. Okay? So I will write this one as ClO2 minus aqueous plus two hydroxides going to ClO3 minus aqueous plus H2O liquid plus two electrons. Now let me add these together. Hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, the two electrons cancel. Now hopefully you look at this and you go, hey, there's two H pluses and two hydroxides. Isn't that sort of equal to two waters? So technically I have two waters on the left and two waters on the right, so those go. So I'm left with my reaction of interest, which is perchlorate plus chloride going to two of these, one, two, two chlorates. Ah, very good. Okay. Now, E cell is going to be equal to E cathode minus E anode. So, my cathode is 1.19, my anode is 0.35, so putting that into my calculator, minus 0.35 is a voltage of 0 0.84 volts. Okay, now the formula for the next part is delta G naught is equal to minus NF E naught cell. Okay, N is the number of electrons I use to balance it. So I have two moles of electrons. F is the Faraday constant. That is 96,485 coulombs per mole of electrons. Now, lucky for us, a coulomb is a joule per volt. That's good. We're going to get energy out of this. And we will multiply this times 0.84 volts. So you notice how volts cancel. Moles of electrons cancel. And when I'm done, I am left with... Oh, I forgot the minus sign. Don't forget that minus sign. Bring it with you. A minus 162,094.8 joules, which is equal to minus... 162 kilojoules. And that's how you do that part. Although thinking about putting it into WebAssign, it's only good to two sig fix. So how about a minus 1.6 times 10 to the second power kilojoules for that first one. And I have run over into my other problem. Oh well. All right. Part B asks me to put Pb2 plus aqueous and sulfate 2 minus aqueous to make lead sulfate the solid. Okay, once again, hopefully you're looking at this and you're going, hmm, see something I'm kind of interested in here, having on the left side. And I notice I would really like lead sulfate over here on the right side. So probably I'm going to do the exact same thing here. This is going to be my cathode and my reduction. But the top one needs to be my anode and an oxidation. Okay, 
So once again, I am going to take this one and flip it into an oxidation. So I will have lead solid plus sulfate 2 minus aqueous going to lead sulfate solid plus 2 electrons. Okay, let me add these two reactions and oh good, my lead solids go away, my two electrons go away, so I'm left with the reaction of interest. Lead 2 plus plus sulfate 2 minus going to lead sulfate solid. Once again, my E cell is equal to E cathode minus E anode. So that should be minus 0 0.13 minus a minus 0.36. So that should give me a plus 0 0.23 volts. Now to find delta G. Delta G naught is going to be equal to NF E cell. And I need a negative sign in front of that. Don't forget it's negative NF E cell. Okay, so that would be minus. And once again, I balance this particular one with two moles of electrons. The Faraday constant is 96,485 joule per mole electron volts. And this is 0.23 volts. So when I plug that all into my calculator, I get a minus... 44,383 joules, which is minus 44 kilojoules for the value of delta G naught for this particular reaction. Alright, that's how you do those problems.